Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Sisbidi, True and welcome back to Fallout 76 Wastelanders, where today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, which is uh, rather than just, you know, chasing down the new quests and doing all of that business, diddly diddly day. Instead, I'd like to just have, you know, a little bit of a looksy roundy, see what's new, just, you know, explore, meet some folks, see what's going on in West Virginia these days, and... Uh, I've got a very helpful tool to help me out with that because what's on screen right now is a map that Bethesda put out just before Wastelanders launched. And basically it said, hey, if your camp's here, you might want to move because there's going to be new stuff there that might displace your camp, which is therefore a very useful map for figuring out where some interesting stuff might be. So some of the stuff we've already seen, like say, up in the north, you can recognize the new and improved Anchor Farm, the new and improved Lumber Yard. So if we just do a little bit of exploring around this area, we might find ourselves some very interesting bits and pieces. And uh, though I could just fast travel to all these locations, because yes, I've gone back over to my main character. And as a result of that, I could just, you know, fast travel to the nearest location and just do this in a hurry. I think we'll go on foot. Just check if, you know, we run into anything or anybody on routes. Though I did also very quickly just uh, rush the introductory new quest as my current character just to make sure I got myself, you know, the all-important bow and I did learn a few cool new things. So if you don't bother talking to the farmers or whatever, with a luck of four, you can just guess the password. So you don't need to bother speaking to them if you've been investing in luck. And as for just straight up killing Ropa, once him and his goons have been taken out, there's a new objective, which is uh, leave a message using this lovely red paint. So scroll a message right over here. I'm guessing that's just going to be, hey, if you'd be so kind, please just don't trouble the wayward any further. Thank you very much. Love, John. Uh, basically that, yes, but a little bit more succinct. And I can also confirm, just as I predicted and was indeed hoping for, if you've achieved the rank US General in the main quest, you can use that to just claim the Assaultron body immediately. And third time's a charm, you're supposed to interact with Crane, not shoot or batter him in any way. Boy, 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 a key, boy, a key. <sighs> That's all he says anymore. Boy is key. Boy. Jesus, Duchess. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing is Crane, Solomon. And what exactly would you have liked me to do with him? Put it out of its misery. Those things are killers, Duchess. Look, Polly and I have the scars to prove it. I don't recall yielding the floor to debate here. You agree with me, don't you? Well, two times out of three I have killed him, so I guess by default, yes, yes I do. Admittedly, I'm not 100% sure what boy is key actually means, even having, you know, been to the vault in questions. So that's... That's interesting. And yeah, though blatantly everyone decides they do want to kill him, you can talk them into sparing him. So he's just going to be released somewhere off screen. Maybe I'll run into him again later. Who knows? And naturally, with the bandit leader dead, there is no standoff to resolve when you get back to Duchess. So the bandits don't just like, you know, show up anyway seeking revenge. Take out the leader. There is no final showdown, which is very, very nice indeed. Destination number one, of course, the Mothman Museum. Up to this point, yeah, this whole area's just been filled up with some basic scorched, together with a bunch of Mothman eggs you can harvest to increase the chance he'll come and find you. But uh, now there's talk of Mothman cultists on the field, I'd say we probably want to go and give this area a look -see. Oh yeah, this place has most definitely had a uh, little bit of uh, a makeover going on here. So, none of this, none of this used to be here at all. The question is, are they going to let me in? Because, uh, I'm going to be honest, in my favour, I am literally dressed in the ritual garment right now, with a giant owl head, I'll admit. But, like, you know, if you squint, you could pretend it was a Mothman helmet. Oh, I see them. Yep, cultists. And they appear to be hostile by default. Okay, well, that's not going to stop me, because unfortunately for them, they're level 1 cultists, which is going to be a problem. A real problem for you, because I have got a level 50 bow. So, good night, Betsy. Nice thing about the bow mind, really, really, really good range and accuracy. 
Okay, I may just be going mad or imagining things, but I swear I just heard uh, the sound of wings beating. Oh yeah, they're guarding the actual main museum a lot more than they used to. And by that I mean no one used to be in there. It used to be totally empty. It was just there for fun. But now, no, 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 they're actually, uh, they're guarding it. Because yes, there is a ritual basement. That's where my ritual garb came from originally. So, uh, okay. What have we got? Hang on, hang on. Just guys, guys, just chill out for one second. Please stop shooting me. And you can just be critical, actually. That's fine. Oh, yeah, we got special people with, like, flamers or what down here. They're talking about sacrifices, as it turns out. Okay, so, uh, sermon impending doom, sermon summoning the Mothman. Were those there originally? I can't remember. Nothing major. They predicted the apocalypse, possibly completely by accident, mind, and yes, were prepared for it. Though they thought it was going to be a flood, and thus they'd be safe on the rooftop. So that didn't work out for them. Okay, nothing else particularly new or different here as far as I can tell. So what I'm just going to do is take a handful of Mothman eggs with me, because one, they're good eating, and two, possibly will stir up the wrath of the Mothman down the line. We'll see if he's got any new tricks up his sleeve now he's got, you know, a proper organised religion and whatnot. Okay, I was moving in this direction because the map Bethesda put out did say something about, yeah, no camps around this point of view, but found something by accident on the way. Twin Pine Cabins is now formally a little outpost for the new raiders, the Blood Eagle lot, including, natural bit of lore here, the Blood Eagle Oath. So, uh, slap that in. What have we got? Master, we our feet. Prepare for a war. Faith and gore. Blood Eagles. Have no fear. Blood Eagles just want your ears. <laughs> Okay, so just to confirm, the Blood Eagles are bad. Though to be honest, for all the talk of the Blood Eagles wanting my ears, I'm not seeing many ears around. Like, you know, none of them are wearing ear necklaces or anything. Quite frankly, I'm disappointed at the lack of ears. Though, to their credit, yes indeed, the former occupants were super mutants and uh, they are still here. They've just been, you know, set on fire. So, nice that the game's actually, you know, actively provided a reason why this area's changed hands. Okay, I'm gonna work under the assumption that was not actually what was on the plan, because yeah, the mark on the plan was way more over here, seemingly halfway between the junkyard and Wilson Auto Repair, so uh, there's something over in this direction. Okay, so on the road there's now a bit of a blockade, where I assume yes, because this is the road you'd walk along logically to make it up towards uh, Morgantown, might just be a way of introducing the Blood Eagles if you haven't run into them yet, there's also, however, random settler forager here. You seem like somebody who appreciates resourcefulness. I know, I know, you're thinking, I've seen you before, right? You recognize this mug, don't you? Um, possibly. And you're a famous, well, as it's luck, presumably that's the, the right answer. But if I had good reputation with the settlers, uh, I'd know this guy, so apparently you're important. So, uh, aha, so definitely an author. But no, my character's super lucky because critical builds are super powerful. So, uh, you're an author, my good man. Tell me about you, because you apparently are important enough that people aren't allowed to build camps near you. Was that a guess? What the heck? Hmm, maybe you have a deep-seated memory of me, buried within your psyche. Okay, I love it. Let's go with that. Ever since the war, I've been sort of scrabbling along, thinking of my books, making the best of it. I have enough time to write some more, and that's exactly what I aim to do. But in order to do that, I need a place to stay for a bit. And if you have a place, well, I would be happy to watch it for you, to tell you some stories. I'm a wealth of practical knowledge, kid. Okay, is he offering to come and live at my camp? Because if so, you're welcome. It'll be nice to have, you know, extra pair of hands around. And when he says practical knowledge, possibly he could generate schematics or plans or something for me. Sure, why not? I think I just might. Maybe just for a short while. Enough to catch my breath and rest my bones. Set out a comfy chair for me, will you? I need to pick up some of my things, and I'll be there soon. Okay, 
here's a little something. So, before we left the forest, I decided to nip up here, because I remember visiting these three locations, uh, dotted about this bit of the world, and thinking, that's weird, why is there literally nothing here? The first ever played 76, and uh, plenty of this part of the world, like say the lumber company up here, has been populated. And now this has too, uh, by those new enemies. The floaters. So yeah, these are fierce floater gnashes. In fact, it's nothing but floaters. And there's also uh, weird blue stuff that might be what creates them. Okay, you guys move around. Wow, you float around real fast. Okay, so we're just going to take you out and you all pop, I assume. Yes, all of them pop. And like fire, ice, or I don't know, gas, poison, something. This is a low-level area, so I should just be able to, yeah, take these guys out no problem. They're weird, the floaters. They're very, very weird indeed. But, what's... What's this? Why is the ground producing magic? Does that somehow create these things? Because, yeah, we don't really know what floaters are yet precisely. They were in the original Fallouts, but they were always a bit of, you know, a mystery back then too. It's kind of unclear what they were supposed to... To be. Okay. We'll grab all of that. I'll take some adhesive off your bodies. Why not? And... Okay. Now, green glowy stuff. What's going on here? Is that like spawning? Healing? Because the colours match the colours of, well, two of the three anyway. Okay, so the pus sacks can be broken down for leather and then a different material based on what sort of creature it is. So the flaming ones, oil, because, you know, they're on fire. Meanwhile, the gnashy ones are acid. They're the green ones. So uh, they don't get broken down by default. If they don't get broken down by default, that means uh, they're important ingredients that can be used for something else. All right. Hold on to this. We may well be wanting some of these guys later or so. Uh, Crystal shard, hang on. What does the ice one have in it? Crystal. Okay, just like it's got crystal. So, okay. If you need leather, acid, crystal, or oil, these things might be good hunting. But why were they here? And what's going on? Because that's not where he died. That's not his corpse. That one died uh, over here. So, uh, what's the deal with the magic wibble circles? Okay, elsewhere in the forest, I've stumbled across something... Uh, very, very big. Admittedly, I'm a bit sad that, yeah, I checked out the Bat Cave under Riverside Manor. Nobody in there. There is no physical Batman present. But then, given the entire point of that quest is figuring out what happened, if someone was there and they just told you what happened, that would undermine the quest a bit. But this road used to be clear. 100% clear. But now, now it's not. Now there's a giant barricade that appears to be a really, really damn big raider camp. That's actually called, hang on here, the kill box. Lovely. Keep your head down here. This is, yeah, Torrent's house. This used to just be pretty much empty. But now, potentially, it's a wider part of, uh, yeah, a raider territory. Though, admittedly, these are very low-level people. So I'm not too worried just yet, but one nice silenced bow and arrow means I can start taking them out. Without anyone being suspicious. Oh, it's suddenly all gone a bit Far Cry 3. Ah, but clean shot at you over there on the guitar. So you can excuse me. I just said clean shot at you. So there we go. You can go down. You're a little bit confused by that. But that's okay because you can go down before anyone realizes anything's wrong. Oh, this is. This is why I like the bow. Watch out, mine. Some of these guys do have missile launchers, which is, you know... A little bit on the worrying side, you can just go down to. Yeah, I've gone over to guns. Arrows are expensive to produce, damn it. They need plastic. Have any idea how valuable plastic is? Okay, I was just wandering around outside. There's an actual alarm that just sounded. Not sure if that really means anything, aside from aesthetically. And to be honest, there's, there's not many of you folks left. Like, I'm pretty sure you might be the last living person. So, you know, good luck. Good luck on your own taking me out because I've killed all your friends already. Yes, indeed. There's now an actual alarm system. So that's nice. Is that what this button does by any chance? I'm gonna... Nope, that just opens a door. Well, that was nice and simple. But on the plus side, I have helped Ghoulcop get through this area very easily. Ghoulcop is now going to have a much nicer, easier time. Excuse me. Naff off with your missile launcher, please. None of that. Don't worry, Ghoulcop. I got you. 
In fact, actually, I swear that guy with the missile launcher was already dead, which makes me think possibly the alarm might cause some enemies to respawn. So, uh, okay, fair enough. That might be a new mechanic these guys have got. Ooh, here's cute. Over at Camp McClintock, there's actually a human now. Just the one. Hello, who are you? Well, golly, a uh, civvy. Uh, this is army property, so... Wait, are you a soldier? A real soldier? Not just a soldier, I'm a flippin' general, actually, but sadly I misread that one as no more soldiers, son. We got the last of them so we could pretend to be a commie, but no, that's, uh, that's not actually allowed. Uh, no, 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 not quite, unfortunately. Well, if you're looking to sign up, Sarge has a real neato training program ready to go. The Army's automated the whole thing, and with today's recruiting standards, anyone can be a soldier now. Even me, I'd make a great soldier, too. I'm real good at taking orders. Go ahead, try me. Oh, this sounds fun. Okay, what orders do we have here? Yes, indeed, supply requisition. So with enough strength, I can just get him to turn out his pockets. Yeah, I've seen that one a few times. Basically, if you want to rob people, invest in strength. Because Heather, the drug dealer, this guy, they've all had strength checks to basically mug them. So if you want to go around being a mugger, you now can. But first, some push-ups. That sounds fun. Oh, I know this one. Can I maybe get to that tomorrow? All this drilling has really worn me down. Okay, so I'm guessing he's not actually willing to follow any orders whatsoever. Right, oh, but are, are, are you serious, sir? I'm, I'm really gonna go f fight? I, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't. You know, uh, Sarge had me. I'm on latrine duty, and uh, I'm gonna have to belay that order on account of... Okay, can we force you out with a sufficiently high check of any description? No, tragically not. But, the bare minimum, I can rob you. Good grief, a supply rack? Oh, well, my gun's jammed and I'm not about to give up my uniform, so... Will this do? Okay, um, ten rounds of ammo. You, sir, are pretty bloody useless. Oh my goodness, he's even terrible at dying. Okay, I was just going for a lovely, lovely walk down by the river here. All the farms down the south of the forest. One of my favourite areas of the map. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, yeah. Can't help but notice I think something might have gone a bit, uh, wrong in this bit of the world. Like how the cemetery's now got that symbol. So I suspect the Mothman cultists have moved in. And over here, the Ohio River Adventures. That's looking a bit raidery too. So, uh, I suspect a bad people may have moved in. That's a cultist, all right. In fact, they've specifically gone setting up new Mothman shrines that didn't used to be there, which is good. That is just more flipping omelets for me. Everybody loves omelets. Ah, but now you need a mausoleum key to open that. Okay, I'm pretty confident that if that used to be a thing, I'd already have it. By the way, you guys can have a grenade. Is that about right? Yep, that was about right, lovely. Few people are a little bit freaked out right now. That's absolutely a-okay. We should just be able to- Oh yeah, you guys are low level, that's fine. We'll just blast our way past all of you. Yes, hello over there. I see you enjoy using shotguns, which is great, because shotgun ammo is expensive to produce. Need plastic for that too. So if you guys would just like to, you know, drop all your shotguns, that'd be really appreciated. All right, so this church is now most definitely a, uh, a church of the Mothman. Did not used to be. Okay, so that's where the cultists are, in churches. Probably should have predicted that one, to be honest. That's- oh, okay. This is all very pretty. Also, that's a new asset, and that's really cool. I like the glowing red eyes on it, too. That's, yeah, massive bone moth. Like the massive bone moth. That's pretty good. Aha, and there's that key I need. Also, don't know if this is new, I don't remember it, but, uh, yeah, okay, the remains of a famous entomologist. Alright, that's, that's interesting. It might be buried with his belongings, a thesis he wrote. Okay, this is all very interesting. I would like you to come to one of our sermons and check out the church. We also have a stash of eggs on the premises. We've been hoarding them and bringing them up to the church, hoping he will come. Having you as a guest will really help expand our reach. Okay, now that's new. So, okay, this area and various other areas have slowly become uh, mothy. 
And I'm pretty sure I just heard, yep, we're not done with the Seekers yet. Where's the Seeker? Hello, are you a Seeker? I'm going over to the, the shotgun, just in case. Hello, where's the... Yes, you're the... Oh, you're only level 9. There's Pastor's Vestments as well. Okay, so uh, the Pastor possibly went a little bit off the rails here. Gotcha. And that gets me through to a beautiful, beautiful little steamer trunk. Right, nothing major, but now I've got that key. Yeah, an entomologist thesis. That's... that's interesting. Okay, caps, another asylum uniform, vegetable starch, wood... Uh, this is the mausoleum, as was mentioned, but... Okay. No sign of any thesis. No, the limit of the churchyard's right here. There's only two buildings in here. Well, three, to be precise. Tiny shed up there, the mausoleum, and then this open shed with another shrine to the Mothman. So, uh, okay. Whatever that thesis business is, it wasn't inside the steamer trunk or the mausoleum. So, uh, all right. A bit of an unsolved mystery there. And yeah, as I suspected, the Ohio River Adventure is now in the hands of raiders. Including, sorry, there's a named one here. Um, okay. Are you immortal? You're immortal! Oh, I'm... Oh, I feel like I might have just, uh, made an enemy with someone I shouldn't have made an enemy of there. Okay, sorry. I've just accidentally, um, yes, I'm guessing you're going to be, uh, Getting back up for the time being. Hi! So, oh, oh, well, that's broken now. Okay, uh, new weapon, new weapon, excuse me. The rest of you are not so... Okay, possibly you're immortal too. Yes, so there's a bruiser and a black eye over here. You guys just down on the ground for a second. Okay, I will be out of your hair in just a sec. Just want to check who... Who the heck is fish bones? And why aren't you shooting me? My has been giving us trouble. Could use a hand. Okay, fair enough. I will gladly help you out, mysterious man who isn't shooting me. Defend the Ohio River adventure and... Uh, Alright, Bruiser and Black Eye seem to have chilled the flip out. And yes, indeed. Uh, fortunately, shotguns are very, very good at dealing with uh, Myelokes. As long as you can get in front of them, that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. So, here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, this is. These are low level. It's fine. Oh no, sorry, Bruiser is actually shooting me regardless. So I need to keep him down while I'm dealing with the Myalurks. Good, good. Everything's fine. Okay, new plan. Hunt down the Myalurk hunters. Cannot see very well through the brush. And then claim my reward and then GTFO. Thanks for the help today. We got plenty to do without the extra headaches. And there we flipping go. And I've killed plenty of Myalurks already happy to help. Or, friendly creator is a friend of mine. I get the feeling I might be able to pick up a little bit of raider reputation. Well, we appreciate it. Purifiers sustain minor damage, nothing we can't fix up. It would have been worse without the extra hands on deck. Okay, so a tiny thing out in the middle of here, but does get me some nice raider rap. All Blood Eagles out there are invited to a show. We captured Beckett. If you want to see blood, roast a pig, then come on down to Poseidon. Bring your friends! Feed blood eagles, they'll get shredded too! Okay, I've just picked up a new quest. I'm missing, now I've got two of them. Sorry, I've been ignoring an emergency signal related to a crash landing for some time, but now, narrow escape, find Beckett. And also just a random piece of coat. Didn't need that, that's all absolutely fine. I was kind of working into the assumption given I just picked that up at, you know, Camden, that was going to be related to uh, Camden. But no, no, that's, uh, that's down over here. Uh, Rollings. I've just been basically doing the rounds, checking all the major locations, like, you know, the Nuka plant, the Hillfolk hot dogs, all of that. Nothing major seems to have been repopulated or redressed, as far as I can tell, in that part of the world. Well, go on then. As I'm actually right at the edge of the ash heap, and I've just been invited here, yeah, Rollings Labour Camp, which I believe a loading screen said was like, you know, one of their biggest camps. So let's go and check that out, though... Also, while I'm in that part of the world, and yeah, absolutely, that'll be one of the areas you're not supposed to be uh, visiting or putting a camp down anymore. Yeah, there was a note saying, not over here either. Don't know what might be over there, so let's go check both of them out. And I think we have found destination number one here, why I'm not allowed to have a camp anymore. New location, marked as a bird. I'm guessing just a blood eagle camp. Right, let's just see if we can take out a handful of them. Oh! Okay, you guys can take one of them to the face, can ya? Caution. So this is uh, the Sludge Works. This is brand new. 
right now held uh, by some new nasty raidery sorts. All right, we'll just be clearing this out then. Shouldn't be too difficult to do, but don't forget the alarm system. Oh, hello over there. Yes, hello. Just hold still for one second, please. And that was 95% chance to hit. I feel hard done by there. Excuse me. Please stay out of the way. Nice thing is, of course, if you miss, silenced weaponry means uh, the game doesn't really care. You can just keep on keeping on regardless. And hello over there. Oh, okay. Crit. And excuse me. That was very rude of you. And oh, that was not necessary for a critical. I see you over there. And that's some good damage. You've got a minigun or something. Well, that's fine. I've got a bow and arrow. So screw you. Oh, yeah, you've got to watch out for these guys. They're actually packing some seriously hardcore technology. I'm seeing plasma weaponries right up to uh, Gatling plasma. That's not nothing. Okay, nothing too major here as far as I can tell. And I've got Aqua Boy set, so uh, we've got ourselves some sludge here. Anything actually in the sludge? Nope, the sludge is very shallow. Right, so that's why you can't have a camp here. Because, you know, these lads have built their own massive camp here. Fair enough, I suppose. This was hardly prime real estate. So... Let's head north here, try and find our way to uh, Rollings Work Camp and rescue a... Do they say Derek? I think they said Derek. No, Beckett. And you know how I know it's Beckett? Because it's written on the screen right now, John. Okay, approaching the exterior of the camp, but I know from the symbol uh, you need me to go uh, inside. Which is a concern, because that means it's going to be appropriately leveled for me. That's... Oh! Hi over there. Yes, sorry. Kind of missed you over there. So we'll just be, excuse me. Excuse the flip me. There you go. One in the face for you. Okay, I'm feeling like, you know, the whole sneaky thing ain't working for me right now. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna shotgun everybody in the face. That, that there, that's the plan. Oh, there's several people up top. That's a concern. I'm not good at rage, to be perfectly honest. Here we go, this'll do. Need to get up top. Once I've got the high ground, life will be easier. There we go. Aha! I see you. You have got yourself a legendary thingy McJib Jib. Well, that's fine. Now you're dead. And Junkie's Bone Hammer. Very appropriate weapon for a Blood Eagle Slayer. I'll say that's fair. Alright, I think that's all of these lads taken care of, and we've got ourselves another tiny bit of uh, Blood Eagle lore right here, so slap that in. Mass Tabor, what a fool. I'm pretty sure he sent me and my crew here to whittle us down. Scorch took out half of my squad. I'm screwed. I better ramp up on some new recruits before I head back to La Hacienda. That son of a bitch sent us into an ambush intentionally. Okay, so basically, yeah, the Raiders aren't really truly a unified faction. Because, yeah, these guys aren't the Raider Raiders like the guys over at the crater. These guys are just, you know, the random nobodies. So, uh, okay, fair enough. They hate each other, they screw each other over, diddly diddly day. Let's just get on with rescuing this Beckett lad. Alright, what have we got here? Ah, okay. That was easier than I was expecting. Hello there. Look, I need to get out of here. Okay, these blood eagles are gonna kill me, but only after they mess me up. You get me? No, it's not gonna be pleasant. You know what? I can believe it. Based on what I've seen so far, they are not nice people. That's probably true. And apparently my perception is, yes, I think my perception on this character is seven or thereabouts. So sadly, I can't get any more information about this related to, uh, yeah, why he got locked away in the first place. So, uh... Yeah, specifically, what do you mean here? Are you serious? I'm talking about torture, okay? Removing things that are supposed to be attached. Pain! Am I getting through? You know what? This seems eminently reasonable, but I would like to know why you were locked up. Oh, for the love of... Okay, quick version. Okay. I used to be part of this gang. I left, they nabbed me, and now they want to make a lesson out of me. How's that? Okay, so he's claiming he's a reformed former member. I'm guessing with the perception check you can get a bit more detail. But go on, that seems reasonable. We'll let you out. But can you actually help me fight on the way out? Because I'm guessing more are spawning in in a minute. Are you kidding me? I'm so fired up. I'm ready to kill. Just get this cell unlocked. Okay, saying something like that makes me trust you a little bit less, but whatever, you're coming with me anyway. 
Now you're talking. Okay, the key should be around here somewhere. All right, probably in the room where the guy running this place sleeps. Be careful. Please. Aha, up top. And I'm guessing, yes, someone's going to have... Someone's going to have spawned in. Probably. Actually, it's the overworld, so maybe, maybe not. And... They don't seem to be moving. Right, let's go get ourselves some keys then. There we go. I already checked this chest, but now it's spontaneously grown a key. Lovely. Sorry, I may have got a bit ahead of myself on the murder there. Ah, there's the alarm. Okay, so now, thought so. Now we're going to spawn some new folks. All right, let's just get a bit of distance between me and them. This revolver is pretty darn good at medium range. And uh, yeah, hello over there. Bear in mind, yeah, my character's built for super criticals. So we've now got a crit. Oh, hello over there. And you are... Oh, hello. You're throwing things at me too. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. So you just tried to hit me from there with a knife. Well done. Well bloody done to you. Oh, we got someone with a flipping plasma caster here. Those are not a joke, actually. Those can really mess you up. Okay, everything's 100% fine. Take you down. Should be good. All right, Beckett, I'm not 100% sure I trust you, but out you flipping come, I suppose. I need to ask you for one other thing before we get out of this place. The gang took a bunch of my stuff. Things that I need in order to track down their leaders. Can you help me get them back? Oh yeah, you're definitely a companion, and uh, yeah, I don't trust you. Are you sure it's your stuff, or are you in fact, yeah, still basically a gang member at heart? No, it's mine, okay? I've already spent too much time gathering information on these idiots. I can't afford to start over, believe me. If I wanted you to steal something for me, I'd be straight with you about it. Okay, fair enough, I suppose. So what am I looking for? It's my bag full of radio signals, contacts, maps general notes that I took so I could destroy these shits once and for all. Uh, also has some of my personal belongings in it. A, a sketch I, I made for a bar I wanted to open someday. When things settle down. <laughs> Goals, <laughs> you know. Okay, that's fairly sweet. I'm on board with that. Let's grab that stuff. Where should we meet up after all this? Do you have some sort of place where you're squatting? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Come meet me at my camp, but... Ooh. Extort... No, I'm gonna be nice. Meet me at the camp. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, but, 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 but I need you to build something uh, that I can recognize from a distance. If I see it at your place, I'll know I'm welcome. In my bag, I've got a sketch of something that should do the trick. You'll know it when you see it. I overheard they took my stuff to the sludge works. Now, it's not too far from here, I think. Okay. They've respawned, but if I just decide to, you know, take out a handful of them uh, with the bow, maybe I could get in, grab the stuff, and then get the flip back out again. No, you're level 30. That's gonna be that's gonna be tricky. Oh, that's gonna be very tricky. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna come and see me right now. I'm guessing this is gonna be a problem. It turns out you, you have a vague idea where I am. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Down you flipping go. Lucky you didn't shoot me much with that there minigun. How about we just grab all of this, Beckett's belongings, and uh, you're the dumbass. Bill, your sign is clever and everything. You left the floor out. You can make everything else, but you can't make a floor. Propping it up on cinder blocks was smart, but how can we exact punishment if our cur prisoners can just slide underneath and run away? Add a floor! I mean, good plan, to be honest. Right, let's just flippy go. Possibly, that was referring to, uh, yeah, we know Becky was planning to build a bar. Maybe originally he was a builder for these guys too. Anyway, let's just go, shall we? Let's build the stuff we need, because the guy said he wants to comfy chair, the author. Meanwhile, Beckett says he wants his bar, so possibly when you meet people, you need to build something as the way of formally inviting them. Here we go. So, Forager's chair and Beckett's bar. Gotcha. In fact, I literally have a matching chair like that already. So, we'll just scrap that one and instead build, like, you know, a nice chair for him right here. So, he can just sit in that chair and he immediately just teleports in. Okay, so, ah, you can only have one ally workshop object placed or stored at your camp at a time. So, Okay, we need to actually get rid of your chair to invite Beckett. A new weapon is a great find for any scavenger. And I know where you can get one. 
Okay, so he's just basically a source of, like, little mini quests to go and find things, but are these, like, legendary weapons or something? Here we go, close by to Sunday Brothers Cabin, little tiny story related to, uh, dead brother, some people who killed their own family, something, something, something. Nothing too dramatic there, but apparently there's now a special thing somewhere in this location. So, back in the mire, gotta find ourselves, yeah, whatever this guy points out for us, so... Uh, Nothing but a diseased, gangrenous feral over there. Nothing too dramatic. But, I don't know precisely where this item is. It's somewhere. I just don't know where. And go on then, if you're over there. We'll just put a bullet in you. That'll do some good work. Just gotta finish off a handful of ghouls, that's fine. Shotgun has got good stagger and cripple, and crippled ghouls literally can't move, so shotguns are the best option for those little guys. Here we go, once I get close enough I get myself a quest marker, so a few bits and pieces, but a weapon case. Hey, you got it. Thanks a lot. I owe you. Okay, so I have indeed got a legendary. It's only a one star, but I guess possibly it's a repeatable way of getting legendaries and thus legendary script together with, ah, actual plans and ammo and whatnot. So it is officially a quest that gives XP too. Okay, you're sort of useful in a quiet way. Okay, but now he's not doing anything, so I'm guessing that's maybe a once a day only. Okay, so now we scrap this chair and potentially he... Okay, he gets naked, then he disappears, so that's that's a thing. And there we go. We've now got three shops at the back, and Beckett's boozer right over here. And he immediately appears. Good goods. So, I'm gonna work under the assumption Beckett is in fact, you know, a boo shop. And yeah, with perception of eight, I could figure out precisely what it is that he did previously. But hang on a little bit, with a couple of drugs in my system. Here we go with a handful of Mentats on board. Tell me what you flipping did. What's your background here? Oh, ho, ho. Uh, we got a mind reader here. Uh, you want to dig into what I've done? Fine. I've killed people. Okay? Killed them for as little as looking at me the wrong way. Thanks for reviving that painful memory. Okay, so just murder. That's fine. Everyone's a murderer in the post-apocalypse. So, sounds like you want to take down the leaders. Best bet would be my old pal Edwin. To, uh, piss him off, I stole his stupid diary. So, uh, if we want his help, we need to get it back for him. He's the leader of a different gang of raiders. Really tough guy. Sharpened his teeth to points. You know, classy. See, his diary has a lot of, uh, precious, sad little secrets. Uh, stuff you wouldn't want your gang to hear, if you catch my meaning. Well, to impress the Eagles, I sort of stole the diary and snatched it away. So, he's not exactly thrilled with me right now. And I'm guessing you're not actually coming with me. You're just going to stand here by your bar, being useless. And yes, indeed, he is a boo store, together with a squirrel store for some reason. So, to get Beckett to really, really flipping like me, we need to help him. I'm guessing that's a bar that's going to fill up as we do various bits and pieces, starting with finding a diary, doing some assassination. But I'm not going to do that today, because today I want to just, you know, figure out what's going on around the wastes. So we'll leave him be for the time being, not least as can't help but notice that, uh, yeah, there's another ally we haven't seen yet investigate an emergency signal, a crash landing, so... Okay, onwards. I'll get back to you later, Beckett. So, over to the toxic waste up north, where we got ourselves, yeah, a handful of locations that are apparently now important. Obviously, the space station is now the crater, so no need to go there because they won't speak to me yet anyway, because I haven't gotten spoken to the overseer. But there's a couple of other bits and pieces close by too, including one close by to this lovely butterfly. No location there right now, but Bethesda's map says you can't have a camp there anymore, so uh, there's got to be something in that part of the world these days. Well, I just happened to show up with some settlers being attacked by some ants here. Honestly, you guys are optimistic trying to settle in this area. This is very, very much raider territory, but I guess I'll take a little bit of reputation. Here we go, sun's going down, but just on the cliffs overlooking the toxic wasteland, uh, we got ourselves a new cave. This did not used to be here. So we've got ourselves a Colton Mine. This is brand new. 
All right, pretty standard mine layout. Nothing so far. Hidden is remaining static, so I'm not... Ooh. All right, something's rumbling down below. Okay, doors closed up need a terminal, so that'll be the Skyrim door right there. But instead, this area is opening up into a little side cave system. Ah, speaker. Currently inactive, no sign of the terminal, and this over here is currently blocked off. No way through. I'm guessing this is going to be used for an important quest, but until you've been given the quest, nobody's home, no one's answering the speaker. You know, I'm starting to become worried that super mutants may have just become a bit of an endangered species, which is, uh, so far, every single location I've visited that used to be a super mutant hub has now just been taken over by somebody else. Like, say, even here in Grafton, which, by the way, is still deserted. No one seems to have uh, moved in here. Yeah, the high school used to be super mutant central. Now it's deadly quiet. Now, there's a handful of corpses here. It's possible someone just cleared them out shortly before I arrived. Uh, that's possible, but still... I am starting to get worried about the sustainability of the super mutant population. Oh, it's happened again. Over at the dam, super mutants seem to have been displaced by raiders. Dear oh flippin' dear. Okay, Palace of the Winding Path is still in scorched hands, but there's a great big note saying don't have a camp near here. And I'm pretty sure I recognise the uh, cultist logo. So, okay, the Mothman lot are over here too in a brand new location. Unlike the church, they haven't actually taken this place over. This one's brand new. Nothing used to be out in this part of the world. Oh, I see a camp. And I hear gunfire. So, uh, alright, we got some high-level folks over here. Yeah, this is a tougher bit of the map. Question is, uh, what are they... What are they attacking? I mean, you see you guys over there. So, uh, alright, get a little bit closer here. 50-50. Take the chance, and then with concentrated fire, screw you as well. Okay, they're now coming in this direction. Put a grenade over there. Right, stupid bloody cultists. What were you guys shooting now? Probably just a bit of wildlife here. Right, get into cover. And okay, they're getting a little bit on the... Oh, I see you've got something big and scary. So what we're just going to do is we're going to take you out. You're going to pick up a nice little critical for me. Excuse me, don't fall behind a bush. That breaks my vats. Yeah, these guys really like their fire by the looks of it. Flamers, Molotov, cocktails. That's what they enjoy. Oh, and they've made something rather cool here. All right, what am I looking at? And by the way, there's there's a few more of you yet. Sorry, are you the watch person or something? There's going to be a watch person around here. Um, just need to find the door. I'll be with you in a second. So, okay, what we got here is a, a big central altar thing, which has got, yeah, one of the little uh, models or whatever, together with Mothman eggs. Everybody loves Mothman eggs. An excellent source of omelettes. Then we got ourselves, yeah, more Mothman eggs, uh, together with uh, mole rat teeth, bobby pins, okay, some form of uh, sacrifice thingy, I'm guessing, going on here. Ah, but up in this part of the world, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces. I'm seeing caves and specifically a vault. Okay, a vault I've not seen before. Now, I'm going to guess that's going to be Vault 79. Because uh, that's the vault that now shows up on the actual title screen. So I'm guessing that's no. Unless it was already here and I've just forgotten the numbering system. That's entirely possible too. Yep, yeah, vault 79. But we're not going any further without some form of ID that lets me in. Still, we've now got a location for the new vault. It is way up here. Okay, up at the extreme north of the map here. Now, I can't guarantee this wasn't in the base game and I just missed it. But we found one, some super mutants. They're dead now. Sorry about that. I feel bad about this at this point. This might have already been in the game. Maybe I just missed this when I actually came through here previously. But I don't remember this. So, okay. Got ourselves just a little cave that some folks were living in. Nothing too dramatic there, just signs of basic habitation. But that's not the actual location, there's, yeah, steps here. Steps leading up towards uh, what would presumably be... Uh, I don't actually know. And also, hang on, investigate the emergency signal. Oh! Hang on, have I accidentally found... Because I thought I was supposed to be... Investigate the emergency signal. Investigate the emergency... 
Hang on, am I looking straight through the... I'm looking north, that's... Okay, everything's weird. Keypad. Okay, well, I don't have... Now I've gone inside my own face for a second there. And back out again. I don't know the code for this. Okay, hang on, What what is this officially? This is Mysterious Cave. Okay, the Fallout 76 wikis and interactive maps and whatnot are sometimes a bit on the unreliable side, but a quick glance online provides no evidence this used to exist, so uh, I believe uh, this is new. And it's really kind of screwing up the quest markers because they think that other quests are located inside it when they're, when they're not. So, uh, okay, we got ourselves a mysterious cave uh, with no immediately obvious way to access it. Okay, I'm relieved to report the Super Mutants do still hold their own, you know, spawning point. West Tech together with the surrounding areas, like the massive satellite dish. So, it's okay, we don't need to organise a charity drive, the Super Mutants are fine. They've just been significantly driven back. Which is not to say they're completely safe mine, because literally just up the road from West Tech, that's West Tech right there, Ripper Alley, a new raider camp set up in the middle of the road. And yeah, pretty hard to actually work around because of all of the mountains. Okay, significant minus points because the single most interesting and underutilised area in the entire game is still completely underutilised for literally anything. The monorail elevator does not appear to have been added to at all. And honestly, that's like, that's location number one I would have done something with. The monorail elevator is bloody amazing, but... There's still literally nothing here but generic junk. Shame on you, Fallout 76. Okay, he's cute. We got ourselves, yeah, we're right down over here in this part of the world. Uh, there is, yes, a camp with clearly a bit of a, uh, not really a diving board, more of like, you know, a gangplank to just toss people off. And uh, cheaters and losers, uh, written right here. And there's some fresh folks, some fresh blood eagles. So, uh, all right, they definitely, uh, kill their own. Now, how do I get up there to go and say hello to you? Here we go. Loop around. Surprisingly nice little town over here, actually. They've got themselves... Oh, yeah. Some of them have got uh, missile launchers and whatnot. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Take you out. Machine gun turret over there, which didn't register damage, but whatever. Okay. As I happen to be above you right now, how would you guys like some grenades? Oh yeah, this is working pretty well actually. We're just going to be uh, tossing some grenades down into our hole and just take it out all of you lads. Lovely. Executioners are going down, all the rest of you going down. All of you dead, not quite one more, but this is nice. You got yourself lights and whatnot. This feels like a pretty big base by the standards of you guys. One randomly generated recipe over here, already know that one, unfortunately. So, okay, tragically no law here whatsoever. But the bare minimum, I'll take a nice refreshing drink of mountain honey. Oh, I quite like this though. Just north of Watoga, out in the middle of nowhere, we got ourselves a new location built into like a, a pylon. Massive great thing called Crimson Point, I believe. So yeah, this is this is kind of nice. So uh, some form of Blood Eagle base going on here. Ignore the various bits and pieces. Just need to find our way up in the world. Aha. Formerly settler before they stole it. Fair enough. Nice outfit. Really, I mean it. I had no idea that the smelly, wandering, vagrant look was back in style. Are you new? Because I don't like you. Right, you know what? You can just go down. And yep, that's absolutely fine. Screw you, insult bot. Right, insult bot has been defeated. Screw you. Not sure if that's new to Wastelanders or not. Never run into insult bot before. Right, well, this is easily the biggest blood raided camp I've seen so far. This place is flipping massive. Got multiple turrets protecting it, all of that good stuff. I'm guessing, sooner or later, we'll be coming here with uh, Beckett to take out one of the boss of bosses. Because this place is... Oh, you've got... No, that that wasn't a missile launcher, John. Not even close. Yep, up top, we got ourselves heads. We got ourselves a double throne thing going on here. But more importantly, we've got a terminal belonging to a named individual, Floyd. So, Earl brought back a nice chair today just for me. 
Earl was whining and wouldn't stop yammering on after the raid today because I took his chair. That mangy mongrel has the nicest bed out of all of us. If I'm going to be sitting around all day while they go raiding, I'm going to be comfortable while I do it. And goodbye, Earl. Very well. Get back to my post night after dinner. My chair's gone. I guess it's decided to get up and walk to Earl's room all on its own. Took back what was rightfully mine. Now it's time to claim his life too. It's time to put an end to this tomfoolery. Randy would handle leading the raids better anyways. Okay, tomfoolery. Not the most raidery word in the world, I'd say, but still, nice to see it being brought back. I'm guessing, by the way, that there might well be, uh, be Earl. Yes. But Floyd's chest needs a key to open. Yeah, this is definitely going to be part of Beckett's quest. Got it. Right, in which case, let's head north to the mire, where straight away I can see, yeah, we got ourselves a new camp out in the middle of nowhere. Belonging to uh, them cultist lot. Though not just that, actually. K-Max Transmission. Okay, that's gotta be new. And by the way, your legs can just go down and you can fall over. Yeah, uh, shotguns. Once you've got them upgraded, basically just hard counter. All ghouls. You stupid, stupid losers. Now, this is definitely new. There's no way in hell I would have missed this place. Given it's right in the middle of the road when I was doing my little rounds. Uh, making sure I got everything previously but for the time being at least there doesn't seem to be a way in to anything here it's a tower but hang on just check around the back in case i've just gone into the the back complex here yeah this was definitely not here previously so aha there is a door around the other side but needs a key so okay that's going to be tied to one of the new quests too Okay, I'm going to give this particular mad band of cultist props because they at least do seem to have a viable plan, which is if you were trying to, say, you know, attract a giant moth of some description, then how would you do it? Well, you'd go into a dingy area, like, say, a forest, and you'd light some massive fires because moths are attracted to flames, as per the, you know, idiomatic moth to the flame. So that... That makes a lot of sense. Well done to these guys. They seem to actually have a plan. Okay, came back to Barclay Springs. Always struck me as, yeah, an underdeveloped area that was very big for having basically nothing in it. And the old day spa appears to have been converted into, uh, yeah, a big old little base for the, uh, the Blood Eagles. Calm down. It's nothing as usual. Ooh, we've got somebody named Frank the Butcher. Okay, Frank the Butcher, you've caught my interest. So yeah, this place used to be empty, maybe a handful of scorched if I'm remembering correctly. But now we're having to fight our way up through actual blood eagles. And okay, they got this place properly trapped up. Big old turrets, spike boards, etc. Oh yeah, we got traps, we got flamethrowers, we got everything. These guys are not kidding about though. Uh, hang on, just... Can I disable this? Or like, shoot, I can't remember how you deal with this. Okay, you know what? We're just going to blow it up. That works too. Blowing it up works just fine. Don't fall through the hole in the floor. Gone over to my good gun here, my lovely pistol. Now do I need to just jump up to here? I feel a bit exposed, to be perfectly honest. Right, you can just die because you're level 50, which is... Oh, bloody hell, there's more cocky turrets. Okay, we got a crit ready to go here. And, oh, there's someone... Okay, there's someone on a different roof. This is, okay, this is a bigger area than I was expecting. That's fine. I should be able to handle this. Oh, hello, Jesse the Hawk. Right, so we got ourselves uh, more than one named character here too. So we'll be going for, oh, hello, sorry, Frank the Butcher. Oh, okay, I see. You're going for theming. Got it. One of you's the cook, one of you's the butcher. Except you're, you're going to try and run at me with a melee weapon, aren't you? Yes, is that... Is that actually a Spike's rolling pen? Oh, marvellous. Well done. I mean, I appreciate the theming, but that was not a good weapon. Old Jesse's back with another fine delicacy. Held up some foundation blokes the other day. We let them walk away after they handed over their Brahmin. Boy, those creatures sure are sweet. Salty, too. Brahmin meat now don't be shy. Hooves, ears, cheek, it's all delicious. Some fresh spring onion and leek. Whatever broth you find suitable will probably work. Salt, pepper, and seasoning you got on hand. Ain't nothing to it. Brown the meat a bit. You get some liquid in it with the spices and salt. Add the veggies near the end so they still maintain freshness. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of assumed you were, like, you know, um, cannibals. 
because you were running around with flamethrowers and spiky rolling pins, but... Okay, possibly you were just really good chefs, I'm very sorry if so. Right, I've checked Harper's Ferry, the other major towns and the bunkers, so neither Ella or Abby's bunker have any, like, you know, new NPCs or anything, so... I should probably bother responding to that emergency signal, given I've been ignoring that for, uh, quite a few hours, actually. So, okay, hello, here we go. Settler, long since dead, and one abandoned bunker. Okay, pretty standard layout. I think I recall this one, actually. Yeah, this place was always just empty and abandoned, but no longer. Hello over there. So, you are Commander de Guerre. <laughs> No, I can't think. Are you... are you a doctor? I mean, I've got stim packs on me. I can feel it working, but... Oh, just... so tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. Mm. My name is Commander Sofia Daguer. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, so just out of interest, how exactly did you make it into this, like, bunker? Yes, I'm the pilot of the Deep Sleep mission, launched in 2070. Maybe you recognize me from the news? <laughs> well, minus the head wound. Okay, so given, like, you know, the crater is made up of a crashed space station, Possibly the same space station, I'm not sure. Uh, my ship crashed nearby. I, I could barely walk, but somehow I made it here. I must have hit my head in the crash. Hard to remember. I figured the military would have arrived for the crashed ship. It's been... Uh, a while, though. I still haven't heard from my crew, either. Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. I need to find my crew. Contact the USSA. Oh, get some first aid. Huh. One thing at a time, though. Where am I, anyway? Okay, so I've got some bad news about the end of the world. Yes, remnants of America. You can't be serious. Tell me you're just trying to be funny here. Please. Yeah, ready for some more really bad news. It's been decades. Surprise! Are you being completely serious with me right now? Everybody I knew, I... except maybe if the others survived. Maybe... I think... I need to focus on just finding my crew. There were three others, and I just... I didn't see anybody. Or any bodies. So they had to be in the ship, or... Maybe only my emergency pod crashed? I don't know. Could you go to the crash site? Look for the ship's flight recorder. It's not far. Yeah, figured you want me to do that. Gladly. Here we go, just round the corner. Looks like she, yeah, hit the mountains between here and the Savage Divide. Here we go. Smoke, crash, looks about right to me. So, story appears to roughly check out. So, into the wreckage. And one flight recorder, presumably. Oh. Do I have to defend this site by any chance, or are we good? Oh, yeah. We have to defend the area. I don't see any red on the compass. What am I? Ah! That'd be what I'm waiting for. Fine. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a suicide app. Okay, just, just got him in the nick of time. Okay, so it turns out they can make it. They can make it, uh, they can make it into here. And I'm very, very low on, uh, ammo, by the way. Uh, that's fine. Level 68 warlords are not so bad. Uh, okay, um... Listen for the beeping of the suiciders. They're the ones who are going to be trouble if I'm trying to just squirrel away in a little hole here. Are we good? Could I have some... Nope, that was just the click of the thing. Not another suicider. We're fine. That, however, is another round of them. Yes, that's that's going to be a problem. Screw you, you stupid bastards. Right, I'm down to basically no ammo. 
Uh, two, one. We got the data. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Um, by the way, yes, yes, that's absolutely fine, 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 fine. Shoot them. Oh, I'm out of ammo for this gun. Oh, this is... <laughs> Luckily, nukes aren't what they used to be. Right, grab the stuff, grab the data. Let's just flipping go. We just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. Okay, Camp Venture, perhaps, and uh, Odia. Uh, yes, right. Intelligence, I can't actually uh, figure out it's going to be shooting me. The escape pod's robot is a, an assaultron, I think. It's responsible for the encryption key. Last I was able to check its signal, it was returning to uh, a, a military base or doing diagnostics. It's hard to tell. Okay, those guys are nice and easy to deal with with a shotgun, so that's a okay. Right, robots pretty close by, nearby to uh, Dolly Sods, but yeah, Soltrons are like ghouls. If you cripple them, they just basically fall apart. So, uh, a well specced enforcer shotgun basically hard counters them. So, uh, ah. Unless you're one of those invisible ones. There are invisible ones, that is a thing. Yes, any chance I can just, you know, speak to you, by the way? Aha! I might just be able to speak to you. Warning Do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries to director of the USSA. And okay, here we go. Thanks to the fact I've got luck of eight, I can just guess the password. Blue sunsets. Access code received. Validating code. Confirming identity. Accepted. Welcome, Commander Daguerre. Transmitting encryption key as requested. Terminating transmission. This unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. Now, I'm not 100% sure where you'd have got that code from normally. There is a space command over in the Savage Divide where there's a bit of an alien conspiracy plot. But if that was her own key code that identified me as her, logically, she would know it. So I'm not sure if you could have talked her into giving it over somehow. Okay, this is good. She's up on her feet. And here we go. Any chance you'd like to come and crash at my camp? Because I do have a little console set up. Doesn't really do anything much right now, but it's there. Here we go. So this is the console she wants specifically. Got it. But I can't build it because you're here. So, okay. If I... One or more items are in use. Well, could you please Good step one. away from that? I need to remove it. There we go. Bar disabled. New thing constructed. Thus beginning, the woman who fell to earth. So, I think I see how all of this goes at this point, which is, for the time being, the quest with What's-His-Face has been disabled. So, Beckett wants me to gather some stuff and do assassinations, and the commander wants me to go and pick up stuff so she can actually fix up a console, and as a result of that, she can track down her friends. Though, uh, don't have a good feeling about the fate of her friends, to be perfectly honest. Like, you know, when you crash land from space... I think in general, that probably uh, doesn't go very well. But, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would say that is enough for now. We have done a good little Luke roundy of West Virginia. Hopefully got to grips with plenty of the new stuff. Now, I can't deny, various locations around the world, like, you know, the little underdeveloped locations that were there in the base game, I can't help but be a little bit disappointed that there's been less done to uh, flesh them out, because plenty of really big, interesting locations just didn't have enough going on with them, like, say, you know... The Nuka-Cola plant, Camden Park, all sorts of stuff across the Maya, Watoga, all of that good stuff. There's plenty still not going on there. Plenty of locations are still precisely as they were. Just nothing but ruins, enemies, a handful of trash. Nothing actually new has been put in those places. So uh, that I can't deny is a little bit on the disappointing side. As is the fact that, yeah, it feels like some of the just, you know, random side characters, like, say, the random kid we ran into at Camp McClintock, the script and the voice acting aren't up to the same standard as what we got with Duchess. So, uh, due credit, the actual new main quest stuff, especially in the first act, seems to be really damn solid so far. But I would have preferred it if a bit more, you know, care and attention had been put into uh, 
redressing, adding to, uh, adding a bit of, you know, flesh and life to uh, the rest of the wasteland. Because uh, there has been disappointingly little new stuff to find. And the vast majority of new locations just appear to be raider camps or cultist camps. And that seems to be broadly your lot. Now the companions, they're welcome. But uh, yeah, it's been a mixed bag. I'll say, there's plenty of stuff I like about Wastelanders. The new quest stuff seems uh, very, very solid, but I can't deny I'm disappointed the rest of the Wasteland doesn't have uh, more new stuff in it. But what can you do? I don't think any of us were really, you know, expecting perfection. Also, this storm bloody rolled in quickly. It was only two minutes ago. Right, we'll be doing a bit more, digging into uh, Beckett and the Commander next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I'm Big John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 76 with What's New in West Virginia. Thank you very much, and goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes! My stupid, stupid plan has worked! It turns out I'm a genius! The giant rat scorpion is not gone! Oh, hang on, there's, there's more yet though, I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.